Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, host of the Power Vertical podcast, and this is the Daily Vertical. So we continue to learn things we've long suspected. The investigative journalism outfit Bellingcat came out with a report this week concluding that tens of thousands of Russian troops most likely participated in the war in eastern Ukraine. Bellingcat reaches conclusions by extrapolating from open source data of medals Russia awarded for distinction in combat between July 2014 and February 2016. Now you may say there's no news here. We knew that Russian troops fought in the Donbass, didn't we? And there certainly is plenty of evidence out there that they did and that they still are. But like the release last week of telephone intercepts showing Kremlin aide Sergei Glazyev orchestrating the civil unrest in eastern Ukraine that preceded the war in Donbass, the latest Bellingcat revelations are important. Because every new data point we gain access to contributes to undermining the Kremlin's big lie that the war in the Donbass is a civil war and a Ukrainian internal affair. And every drip, drip, drip of new information we get makes the truth unavoidable despite a deluge of Kremlin-sponsored propaganda. And that truth is that Russia has conducted a war of aggression and a war of choice in Ukraine. Russia invaded Ukraine without cause and unprovoked. Of course, we've long known this, but that doesn't mean we should stop saying it and proving it every chance we get. Keep telling me what you think in the comments section, on the Power Vertical's Twitter feed, and on our Facebook page. I'm Brian Whitmore, and that was The Daily Vertical.